kind of almost done a little bit of all the vertical jumps. He's got BBC Pro Reef, but there's no hands involved. Hands on hips. Hands on hips, legs apart. Dip as low as you want to go. You probably want to dip a little bit lower than, it, than, you, than you think you need to. It's a fast dip. It's a fast dip down and jump as high as you can. My man decked out. He goes up and down. It's 45 minutes? Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. So what should I go for? Like a four? Eight? So this is... So when I ran this, I was four, seven, six. Yeah. This is more for me. Okay, as I said, this, uh, this um, I'm going to standardize the test. So the reason this line is 50 centimeters back from the timing gauge is so that people don't break their hands with the beam. Sorry, break the beam in hand. Is that right? So when you come up, you want to be just touching our line because this is to your advantage to be as far away from there as possible so you get some momentum into the first set of timing lines. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Remember that starting position. When we come here, people tend to forget what we were just talking about across there. They let their arms dangle, they have opposite hands up and so on. Get yourself set to start. This first 10 meters is all about power. Drive in those arms. Drive, 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 drive. Stay low. In a second, do a run through for me. Just to make sure it's working. Here we go, Jakey. Come on, Jake. Let me see. Come on, Jake. Slow down. Go, Gimli. Go, Gimli. Good eight right there. Perfect. First step. As you come up, just touch, just touch, just touch in the line. Or just one toe, just touch in the line. When you're ready. Yeah, that's good. I thought you did. Five. Oh, five is good. Right, 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 Come on, Lee. Think fast, Lee. Let me try it out. Go, Malik. Go, Malik. Go, Lee. 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 Push, 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 push. Oh, go, Sean. Oh, my God. See, you got wheels, Demo, so you straight. Say what? See, so you got wheels. I don't want to 
a full seven at least. Facts. Wait, stand, stand up. Back a little bit. So it's just two touching the light. You get, get a bit more momentum. Come on, get him. Okay, another centimeter. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Very bad. Push, 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 all right. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Sideways. Push, 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 push. That felt like a close end. Up, 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 up. Good. 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 Five, Good. Extra five miles. miles. Meters. Like almost extra five meters. So it's like 40 meters. Yards. Extra five yards. It's 40 meters. Let's go. Ends up being like 45 yards. Ah, oh, I need to get four seven. Hopefully they run again. Mediocre day for me. Oh, yeah. If we have the vert vert, we get that. Big G! Come on, Jalen! That yellow cone, orange. That's farther, so we're going to hit that. Five, two, but seven, first jump. Eight, yeah! We're going to hit that first jump. Scoot right here. Now I go hey. to that school right there. Southside the village. Drug nigga something. I forgot the word, so I'm going to make my own. <laughs> Three, five, yeah. If you're forward, it means you could have probably gone... That was, I, did, I did that two oh, days ago, but it was wind Just assist. Step. Just step. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nate. First one, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. Easy there, Tiger. Oh, okay. Follow them. Subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> So there's a combination, but you need a little bit of height as well as distance, okay? So imagine it. You know, you know, subscribe a little bit. Subscribe. Let's go. All four. Don't be too close. I want to get closer. I got this one next. He's like a how you feel? My warm up is nasty. We're gonna get that right there, though. Bet. What up, Dave? Still not subscribing? Subscribe. Subscribe. Like, comment. Get to the orange palm. Second one. Good shot. Out. Oh, that's uh, good. That's good. That was good. Yeah, that was good. 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 That Go farther. Go closer to you. 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 Go Warm ups, huh? I know. You know, but I did it before sprints. My legs kind of jelly now. Facts. That's it. That is the day. At least I got numbers, so I know what I need to work on. Come back. Next time, run and test and shit. First off, ball skill. Most important. And then the rest of it. Ball skills, advice. Two, six, two. <laughs>
That's about four. Boom. Oh, I need to get more height. First time. I. 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 I just came back from tryouts. About to go work out now. It was a workout to try out. Now I gotta try to work out. This is Zinger. I keep looking at Bay because I'm waiting on her to like make a stupid face at me. Mm -hmm. One of those annoying faces. Apparently I'm the most annoying person in the world to her. So, you know what I'm saying? Got my fresh cut on the way back. You know what I'm saying? Looking clean. Look at the edges. Mmm. 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 Mm. Miss Lewinsky, I'm finna bust. It is impact week for my protein, so I got this package right here. Impact week package. I'm gonna open it up, see what we got. Nice and purple, purple from like my favorite color, if you guys did not know. Oh, we got some clear way isolate impact blue raspberry. New flavor of clear way. And then we got clear collagen. Collagen is good for everything. And it comes with collagen peptide, 20 grams, total carb, one gram, 18 grams of protein. This is 20 grams of protein. You just go after math, 40% off or 50% off. Some around those percentages, you get a lot of percent off pretty much. Uh, so I'm about to take this and go work out. What? My hair is better than mine. My hair is better. Look at you, look at what you got. What you got going on right now? Look at all them split ends. You got 12. I have zero split ends, actually. Yeah. You got 20, 20 something split ends. I have zero there's split There's no ends. way, there's no possible way to have zero split ends. You're always going to have split ends. He said his hair is better than mine. Live. Look at that edge Look up. Look at the mess. Look at that edge up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What's in there? Why feel all build up in It's all gunky. <laughs> Pomade? Yeah, it's the only thing that holds it. Um, yeah, a pomade. Brought to you by a nigga. Got the My Protein fit on, all blacked out. You know what I'm saying? Looking super duper superhero we on the rear row we. They call me T Row He. It's like a sparrow, but we. Cook up the marrow, you see? Count down to zero. Let's go. What's going on, YouTube? So today I want to talk to you about my new training split um, that involves pretty much a front body day, a back body day, and a lateral body day. So I'm training full body basically three times I mean, three, three days in a row, pretty much, in the rest day, maybe some mobility day um, for my recovery day, uh, do some hot, cold, tough therapy or anything like that. Um, but I've been enjoying my workouts. I've just been enjoying them so much more, training like this. Um, usually, you'll probably ask me, why not do push-pull instead? Or, you know, upper, lower body day. And I, I don't know, I just didn't get that. It was cool for a minute, but... This new type of training plan that I've uh, made for myself has allowed me to hit my weaknesses a lot more, uh, a lot more consistently and remember um, the purpose of each day. So for example, uh, front day, you know, we're training quads, uh, training our shins, calves, uh, or our frontal, frontal plane of the calves, and um, training our chest, training some abs, and just pretty much everything in the front. And the thing about it is, is, you know, all I gotta do is come in and focus on everything that's frontal. So those pushing movements, um, those explosive movements, the, the things that 
pretty much carry for the the quads you know i would do prowler pushes as well this is more so how i think of it is like acceleration phase of running you know at the acceleration phase when you start like a 40 yard dash or 100 or whatever it's uh focused mainly on quads you're trying to explode out the gate you know and that's how i kind of think of it and then on the next day which will be a bit hamstring will be more of the carryover so that's when you come out of the acceleration and you're upright running you know so everything that pretty much hits those areas uh, will be the main focus and then on the third day, again, lateral. So it's gonna be a lot of hip movement, you know, uh, hitting those, the, the adductors and abductors, um, a lot of mobility movement for those side lunges, things like that. And uh, I've been just in training, enjoying it so much. Um, my legs have already, it's been what, three weeks, two, three weeks since I've been doing this and my legs have gained, you know, two inches already uh, doing this. So if you guys are interested in learning more about this and seeing more about this whole uh, workout program, then uh, comment below. Would like to see you guys' thoughts, um, answer questions for me to answer in my next video. Uh, would appreciate that a lot. This is what I mean right here by the shins. Uh, doing this right here and uh, allows me to focus on you know my knee rehabilitation. Um, mainly. My surgery knee is like feeling strong, it's feeling good. It's like my left side now, the, uh, the opposite knee, that's giving me the issues on certain movements. Oh yeah, check this right here. I was doing uh, these jumps, this lady comes by, and she's just like, in awe. Holy shit. I just found that funny because it was like, this weight's nothing. Um, so you see me working on something that I was doing in the uh, combine uh, for the USA rugby team. Uh, just trying to work on the feel of it uh, because once we come back for the fall season, we will be tested again. So this summer is about conditioning and becoming explosive and fast and working on ball skill. I still have rugby practice Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it's not mandatory. I'm just choosing to do so and um, because I want to come back in the fall uh, a rugby player. I want to come back in the fall and the coaches see me like, you know, you've really put some work in this summer and um, claim my spot, you know, because I missed four games. I only played four games. I missed four games. And uh, that kind of put me in the backside. So, you know, I got to fight for my spot pretty much. I'm playing center uh, for those who didn't know. I moved from wing to center and, um, yeah, you know, I'm just really focused on just being complete, um, no weaknesses. So this is allowing me to really hit all the spots that I need to. So like I said, I do all the, um, the push movements on my frontal day, somewhat of the push movements on my frontal days. It's once again, quads, abs, chest, shins, and you know, there you go. Uh, that's the whole ball game. Uh, but I've really been enjoying training upper and lower bodies in the same days even if it's three days in a row i don't feel like i'm fatigued or uh don't have enough energy for the next day matter of fact i just it feels like i have more energy just to train period it makes me train harder um now that i have purpose but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will catch you guys later don't forget to like subscribe and uh yeah we're gonna kill it this summer peace out